I flew more than 20 hours to find out if there's really a difference between flying economy and economy plus on Delta. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Aubrey. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. So this video is going to be all about economy versus economy plus on the Delta airline. Is it worth it? Is there a difference? What's the tea? So the way I was able to test this out and see if there was much of a difference at all was to do my long haul flights on economy going and do another long haul flight on economy plus going back. So ultimately I was going from the United States ending in Bali, Indonesia. Now with economy, I have on my blog that's linked down below the specifics of the difference between economy and economy plus. Also a great visual that came from the delta.com website that show in depth the differences between economy, economy plus, business and first class. So for economy, you get your standard leg room. For me, I'm about 5'5", five five, so I didn't think that leg room would matter that much, but man, for a 15 plus hour flight, I realized how important the leg room is. So I was able to luckily score a window seat for my economy flight, and I was right behind the exit row. And when I was sitting there, I was thinking, man, if I would have been able to score that exit row seat right in front of me, I probably wouldn't even have included the leg room situation in this review because I think if you're gonna sit in economy and you can score an exit row seat and you understand the responsibilities that come with that, you're really fine. Now on your economy flight as well, you do get access to meals. They had salad with them and they had dessert with them. But for my first long haul flight with Delta, economy wasn't bad. Now let's go on to economy plus. I liked it. Here's why. You get three to four more inches of leg room. My previous experience of flying an economy, that was something that I did not take into account because I just didn't think that I needed the leg room because I'm short. But I like the fact that on economy plus you have that extra leg room in the front and you do get more space to recline in the back. You do also have your own dedicated overhead bin. So another feature that comes with Economy Plus that I actually appreciate now looking back at it is the ability to change my seat selection or my seat assignment before checking in. So looking at Economy and Economy Plus side by side, both of the seating assignments give you your headsets, your sleep kits that come with a pillow, a blanket, and ear plugs as well. In Economy Plus, I think you can ha you have access to getting like more drink options or you can like get alcohol or something like that but at the core of it your snacks and your meals it's pretty the, relatively the same so if you're an economy or if you're an economy plus you're going to see the same standard sizing of the screen on the back of your seat i appreciate that both have access to a headphone jack and a charger for your cell phone so i do have some cons to share from my delta flight experience and the con the main con is going to be the wi-fi now i have t-mobile and if you go onto a delta flight you will be able to see on the um wi-fi when you select it that there's delta wi-fi and then you can have like free Wi-Fi browse and I think free text if you have T-Mobile and then the other options for I guess non T-Mobile users is you can have the chance to browse for like two or three hours which is like $18 and then you have the option of like the whole flight which ends up being like $22 but on both of my flights I ordered either the two or three hour Wi-Fi and then on another flight I ordered an unlimited Wi-Fi and on both of those Wi-Fi packages I could not watch YouTube, I could not watch Netflix, and I could not go and like watch Power on the Stars app or something like that. Like I just, I could literally only Facebook, Instagram, Twitter was loading really slow for me. Like it was actually showing me like hours old tweets. So along with that, I really just didn't like the fact that the only way that I was able to know that I couldn't stream 
or watch Netflix or YouTube or anything like that was based on me talking to a chat agent while I was already in the air. But my final thoughts, I can say the biggest difference if you're going on a 10, 15 plus hour flight and you're really trying to decide if going from an economy ticket to paying roughly a little more than $80 to up to an economy plus ticket is worth it, the biggest difference that I noticed was the leg room and just the seating space in general. The food, the overall experience, the entertainment value, all of that is very close. Anytime I fly long haul or international, I'm just going to do economy plus. I'm going to just go for that because I enjoyed having the ability to recline back more, having more leg space and feeling that I had more space in the seating overall. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was super helpful. I know for me, I was going bonkers trying to just to decide if I need to be on economy or economy plus. So I just decided to do the trip this way and ultimately share my experience with you all. So I hope this was super helpful. Be sure to let me know in the comments below how you like to fly. Do you have a certain airline that you go with? Do you have a certain seating that you just never waver from? Let's have a conversation in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.